there, greeters. I really miss you guys, and since we can't be here together today in class, I wanted to make a video for you. I wanted to show you an introduction to opinion writing. Um, we've done some of it with our Act Now blue books that we do in class, but we are going to take a look today at, at some more and have some fun reading one of my favorite picture books and writing opinions on it. So this is Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late by Mo Willems. Um, after we read it, I'm going to show you an example of opinion writing with it, and you guys can do the same at home. All right, let's get started. Okay. Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Words and pictures by Mo Willems. Don't do it. Some clouds. Oh, good. It's you. Listen. It's getting late, and I need to brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Thanks. First of all, I am not even tired. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? No. Oh. Oh. I hear there's a good show about birds on TV tonight. It should be very educational. How about five more minutes? Come on, what's five minutes in the grand scheme of things? Ooh. What? What? I'm not tired. You know, we never get to talk anymore. Tell me about your day. Oh, I've got a great idea. We can count the stars. Can I have a glass of water? Studies show pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. Hey, hey, ho, ho, this here pigeon just won't go. Please. It's the middle of the day in China. I'll go to bed early tomorrow night instead. My bunny wants to stay up late too. You can't say no to a bunny, can you? <sighs> okay, that was not a yawn. I was stretching. <laughs> I'm 110% awake. You haven't heard the last of me yet. Great work. Thanks. Good night. Look, he's having his hot dog party in his dream. <laughs> Alrighty, so I want to show you how I would write an opinion about thinking the pigeon should not stay up late. 